All right, let's talk about 4D sculpting. I have this gorilla model here in Blender because I think it makes a good example. If we apply some of these expressions like rage, surprise, happiness, you can see there's some issues with intersecting geometry, especially around the teeth and the lips since these are custom teeth. So once we've done all we can in terms of adjusting the base topology and bone positions, the final step is to make these final corrections using shape keys. So we can go over to the shape key panel and we can click import all shape keys. This can take a bit, but this will import all the blend shapes from the DNA file that's linked against your RigLogic instance. The base DNA file used when making this gorilla is actually just Ada's DNA from MetaHuman Creator. So she has about 800 blend shapes. So those are all going to import on top of the gorilla's topology. And this will give us a good starting point with all the different expressions and combination expressions. Um, but you'll see we can go in there and we can start tweaking these for our own purposes. When certain controls on the GUI are activated, certain blend shape values get activated. By default, the shape key list only displays shape keys with a value and it sorts those values from greatest to least. With this particular pose, there's only one shape key being activated, and it's being activated at the maximum value of one. We can click on the edit button, and what this does is it locks all other shape keys except for the selected one, and it highlights the vertices that have a millimeter offset from the basis pose. So this edit button is a good way to edit the shape keys if you wanna do that in edit mode, but it also helps you preview what area of the face this particular shape key is affecting. The reason this is important is each of these particular shape keys were designed to be activated in a certain way, in a certain region of the face. And it's important that you really only sculpt in those areas and you don't try to repurpose the shape key for something that it was not designed to affect. I'll demonstrate this some more when we get into combination expressions. But for now, I'm just working on this one shape key in sculpt mode, and I'm using the grab brush to just push the lips back past the teeth. Also, like I said, the deltas are being extracted from Ada's DNA, so the shape of the gorilla's head is pretty drastically different from hers. So you can see I'm using this smooth brush to fix up some areas that are a little rough, or the deltas cause some weird offsets that wouldn't be there if this was a more normal human head shape. Also, I'm smoothing out some artifacts around the lip area. All right, let's take a look at an example that has a lot of combination expressions, like this rage pose. So we got a few areas we need to fix, but the first thing we need to do is identify what shape keys belong to which area. I'm first gonna start with the nostrils and I'm gonna look for any nostril shape key poses that have the highest value. Then I'm gonna click the edit button to see the deltas. Okay, so this is like the correct one. So I'm gonna go ahead and start smoothing out some of these artifacts. Notice I'm sticking to the left side of the nose and I'm not gonna work on the right side until I activate that shape key. So this is an interactive process. You really wanna pay attention to any shape keys that have a value over 0.5 and are affecting the particular region of the face that you wanna adjust. So now I'm working on this upper lip blend shape and I'm inflating it and then smoothing it out a little bit. It's always important to adjust major issues with bone positions and skinning before you do these, this fine tuning of the blend shapes. So just keep repeating this process and you can be as detailed as you like. I'm doing this real quick since this is just a tutorial. One other thing I wanted to touch on was what do you do in a situation like this? You have some blend shape that's obviously messed up. Once you identify that blend shape, you can actually use the re-import feature and you can just re-import only that blend shape specifically. This will revert the blend shape back to how it was originally in the DNA file. Once you nail the major expressions, you'll probably wanna go through and look at some of these visings. And so this is where some of those combination shape keys really start to get activated. So you might need to adjust these if you have a character like a gorilla or something that has a very differently shaped mouth. So let's see how this is all looking in Unreal Engine. So I'm just gonna go to my output tab. I'm gonna disable the textures I have on the material since I already set up the materials in the Unreal project. And then I just have my test level sequence mapped right there as the level sequence input. So it'll spawn there. And then I'm just going to hit Scent Unreal. You can also check out our tutorial where we go into more detail about the Scent Unreal functionality. But now that we're in Unreal, we can start comparing our results with what we had in Blender and also set those various facial expressions. And we can switch through a couple of them and you can see that our, um, the results aren't bad. The Shape Key Editor is the newest part of our workflow and we plan to continue to add new features to it. Please stay tuned for more details. Thank you.